Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. How are you? I do apologize for the delay. I am just so excited to be back with you guys for this devotional on this evening. And tonight we are starting. We are starting just want to pull that up here. We are starting forgiving what you can't forget. Forgiving what you can't forget. And what I was actually trying to do, I'm not sure if that is going to kick me out of the window. So this is what we're going to do. as we do when we always start a new a new devotional we are going to open it up in prayer and then we are going to dive in to our new devotional amen Amen. Lord, I thank you for bringing us together one more day, for allowing us to see yet another day, God, for giving us a chance to, to have to, to form a closer walk with you, God. I thank you, God, for allowing me to see another day. I thank you, God, for how you continue to bless me, my family, and those that come in contact with me, those that come across my path, God. I thank you for how you and camp your angels around us to keep us safe from any hurt, harm, or danger. I pray that these devotionals will touch someone's life, will touch someone's heart, their mind, to make them want to have a closer walk with you, to have a closer relationship with you, God. Not just to say, I know God, but to say, I know God. Amen. And I thank you, God, for all that you have done all that you are doing, and all that you will do. I should continue to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we are going to... It's funny how when you have everything set up, it wants to get quirky on you when it is time to go forth right? So, all right. Thank God for, you know, my children laughed at me because I have several cell phones that I, um, I don't use them. It's two of them are just, I have one that I have games and one that I just use for Wi-Fi or, or for broadcasting and, 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 uh, doing Facebook Lives. And so, you know, I had one thing planned and it didn't work out that way. So we are going to go ahead on with plan B. Amen. We're going to go ahead on with plan B. Um, so once again, tonight's devotional, we will be talking about forgiving what you can't forget. It is a five-day challenge as as usual for now all of our devotionals are found inside of the bible app the U version bible app um i just want to go over here to see if i and if you are joining us to just just say hi say hello so that way i can i know that i am speaking to actual live human beings that uh you know we are not just um broadcasting to robots right amen so tonight's devotional the scripture will be coming from ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 chapter 4 verse 32 we will be reading from the King James Version of the Bible, and it reads, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Amen. 
I, you know, I this really, ex, it just, I just got so excited when I saw this devotional and I was like, God, yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to read the devotional and then we're going to go into, you know, our little chat. And I ask that, you know, if there's anything that touches your heart, you know, or however you are feeling after these devotionals to please don't, you know, don't be ashamed to share with the group, um, with the Absolute Word Ministries family, with our uh, YV devotional group, you know, or even on Periscope, because we are also broadcasting live on Periscope as well. So don't be ashamed to, you know, say hello and, and to just add your input as to what these devotionals are saying to you. Amen. So it says, forgiveness, the title for tonight is forgiveness, the double-edged word. Do you ever find yourself defining life by before and after the deep hurt? The horrific season, the conversation that stunned you, the shocking day of discovery, the divorce, the wrongful death, so unfathomable, you still can't believe they are gone. Mm. The breakup, the day your friend walked away, the hateful conversation, the remark that seems to now be branded on your soul, the day everything changed. That marked moment in time life before, life now. It is even possible, is it even possible to move on from something like this? Is it even possible to create a life that's beautiful again? I deeply understand this kind of defining devastation in such a personal way. When your heart has been shattered and reshaped into something that doesn't quite feel normal inside your own chest yet. The word forgiveness feels a bit unrealistic to bring into the conversation. But can I whisper something I'm learning? Forgiveness is possible, but it won't always feel possible. It's a double edged word isn't it? It's hard to give. It's amazing to get. But when we receive it so freely from the Lord and refuse to give it, something heavy starts to form in our souls. It's the weight of forgiveness that wasn't allowed to pass through. And for me, that's mainly because I've misunderstood something so incredibly profound about forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't something hard we have. I'm sorry. Forgiveness isn't something hard we have the option to do or not do. Forgiveness is something hard one that we have the opportunity to participate in. When I wrongly think forgiveness rises and falls based on all my efforts, conjured matur maturity, bossed around resistance, and gentle feelings that feel real one moment and fake the next, I'll never be able to authentically give the kind of forgiveness Jesus gave to me. My ability to forgive others is made possible when I lean into what Jesus has already done, which allows his grace for me to flow freely through me. Forgiveness isn't an act of my determination. Forgiveness is only made possible by my cooperation. Cooperation is what I've been missing. Cooperation with what Jesus has already done makes verses like Ephesians 4 and 32 possible. And I'll read it again. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, 
as God in Christ forgave you. Forgiving one another just as Christ forgave you. God knew we couldn't do it on our own. So he made a way not dependent on our strength, a forgiving way, a way to grab onto Jesus's outstretched arms, bloody from crucifixion and dripping with redemption. He forgives what we could never be good enough to make right and makes a way for us to simply cooperate with his work of forgiveness for us to receive and for us to give. That person or people, they've caused enough pain for you, for me and for those around us. There's been enough damage done and you don't have to be held hostage by the pain. You get to decide how you'll move forward. If you're knee deep in pain and resonate with the feelings of resistance I have felt too, let me assure you, over these next few days, forgiveness is possible and it is good. What is your initial gut reaction to the word forgiveness? I read this question over and over again and For me, my gut reaction to the word forgiveness is making things right. It's not holding on to something wrong that someone has done. Because just as the scripture lets us know, God forgave us through his son, Jesus Christ. God forgives us daily. When we ask for forgiveness with a sincere heart and and, and the mind and the determination to not continue to do what we are asking forgiveness of, God forgives us and he does not hold our wrongdoings against us. How does it encourage you to know that forgiveness is made possible by our cooperation instead of our determination? How does it encourage you to know that forgiveness is made possible by our cooperation and not our determination? Because all we have to do is to cooperate with what God has already laid out for us. We are, we are supposed to forgive just as God forgave us. How many times, how many things have we done and have had to ask for forgiveness? I know for a fact that I have done some things that I have had to ask for forgiveness and that I have asked for forgiveness of. Now, when you ask for forgiveness, you're not always going to get, okay, I forgive you. Sometimes you're going to ask for forgiveness and the person or people are going to say, well, I don't forgive you. And it's not their job. They don't have to forgive. They don't have to forget, but we have to forgive even if it's something that we cannot forget. It's not going to be easy. And we're going to learn that over the next few days, over the next four days. That trying to forgive something that we can't forget is not going to be easy. So that is why we cannot do it on our own, on our own accord, with our own strength, because we don't have the strength to do that. That is why we must ask God and cooperate with what he gives us to forgive. It may be stuck up here of what happened, but we must get it out of here. That's where my heart is, right? Yeah, we must must get it out of here. 
Amen. Because years can go by and it'll you'll forget. But here, this is where it hurts the most. And this is why we must get it out of here. We must forgive. God, give me the let, let me use your strength, your power to forgive this unforgivable act. Spend some time. I encourage each and every one of you to spend some time journaling. Um, you know, the dollar store has the, uh, remember the marble uh, notebooks that we used to have to get when we were back in school? Um, so, or even just paper, you know, just paper. Spend some time journaling. Invite God into your questions and your hesitations because we're going to hesitate. And that is correct. Sherelle says 70 times seven, we must forgive. And, you know, when I, when I first read that in the Bible, 70 times seven is what how we are supposed to give as many times, you know, someone can do something to us. And, you know, and I actually, cause I'm, I'm a geek. I really did 70 times seven. My God. Well, seven times seven, that's 49 and add that zero 490 times if need be. Yes. That is how we are supposed to forgive and how often and how many times if it is necessary to forgive someone, it's not going to be easy. There is nothing in the Bible that said life is easy. It's not going to be easy because our thing is, is going to be, God, why should I forgive them? Because God forgave us every day. And sometimes we'll do things that we are not aware of. And that is why when we go to bed at night, we should pray and ask God for forgiveness daily. We should ask him for forgiveness daily. And I, when I go to bed at night, God, if there is anything that I have done throughout this day, Lord, show it to me. If it's something that is not pleasing in your eyes, something that I need to ask for forgiveness of, show it to me. Show me the person because it could have been something that I may not have realized my words were sharp. I may not have realized that my attitude may have been sharp because we are all human. We are not perfect. Not one of us that is still walking this space of this earth can say that we are perfect. We will. We can say it. We can say it. We can say anything we want to, but we, to be honestly, we are not perfect. And our desire is to, should be, to be more and more like Jesus. He is a forgiving God. He is a merciful God. Amen. So if he has been so forgiving and so merciful unto us, as hard and as painful as it is, we must be forgiving and show mercy just as God does to us daily. Because if it wasn't for his grace and for his mercy and his forgiveness, we wouldn't be here. We would not be here because it's those things that allow us to see every day, to see a new day, to give us another chance to get life right with him. Amen. Amen. So feel free to under these each broadcast. We are on Facebook Live and we are also on Periscope, you know, and also in the group. Feel free to let us know how God has what God has done for you. And sometimes we may feel like, God, you know, where are you? That is when we, we should lean more on him. You know, we should 
not try to fix things or try to do things in our own on our own accord because we are not <laughs> we are not as wise we are not as strong sometimes you know and and we just need that extra little oomph from God that extra little oomph and and, and be quiet long enough to hear the instructions he is trying to give us. Amen. Amen. I thank you all for joining us on tonight. Remember to invite your friends, to invite your family, to just listen in or even to just share it with them. Amen. Don't forget, as we are still walking and talking, living and breathing in this day, in the midst of this corona virus, COVID. Please make sure it is not just for your safety, it is not just for the safety of others, but it excuse me, it is for the safety of everyone. Wear your masks, um, sanitize your hands, wash your hands frequently, sanitize, you know, because we don't want to see these numbers keep going up. We want to see them go down, down, down. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful evening.